Okay, we're gonna start the shoulder pad. And I had a couple of ideas in the beginning of what I was gonna do with this shoulder pad, but the way things are working out, I think I'm just gonna sculpt it. Uh, I kinda wanna follow this exact shape, so I think uh, I'm just gonna run with this. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I have some extra magic sculpt, and uh, we're gonna go into the garage and I'm gonna use some baby powder. We're gonna put this on top of here, but I'm gonna mark off where the rope would probably go. I'm not gonna follow the exact same strap of this, but I'm going to follow something similar. And the idea is I'm going to sculpt the pad, the shoulder pad, on here. And underneath the shoulder pad is going to be a metal rod that goes into the shoulder uh, blade here. But that will have a hollow brass piece with magnets so it clicks in. Uh, now, if you pretty much put this on here and you do it, there's really no room for cloth. you got to have some kind of cloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out if I put something underneath it now what will happen is it probably won't line up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put baby powder here now. I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to start sculpting the pad. And then once I'm ready to work out the cloth and I got my peg and everything, I might have to dremel and chop out some of underneath the pad so the cloth cape fits correctly. It's kind of, uh, I got the idea in my head. It's kind of hard to explain. So I just got to show you how I do it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the garage now. And I want to put baby powder on the shoulder blade. I want to put baby powder on here. I'm just going to kind of work out a basic thing. And I'm going to let it just sit overnight. And then once I got the basic pad down, then I could start dremeling it. I could work it out. I could chisel it. And I could start shaping it up and smoothing it out. Um, it, the idea is there. It's kind of hard to explain. But you'll see how things go. Okay, so I got the basic shape. I know it's not perfect. We're going to have to do kind of that, like, you, know, you see how the piece goes up and down like that. So I'm going to have to kind of work out that little bit there and just keep working. But for now, I just want to get this basic piece set. So I'm going to put her on the shelf. I'm going to let her sit. Uh, she's not. It's not going to attach to her shoulder because there's a lot of baby powder there and it's not sticking. Even if there's a little bit of tackiness, it'll still pop up no problem because... I have primer there, some baby powder, and nothing is going to really cure or bond to it really that good. So I'm not worried about that. So I will let this kind of cure up. And then what I might probably do is if I have extra A's one night, I kind of might work out the dome a little bit. But one day, uh, once I'm ready, I'm going to go into the garage and I'm going to kind of get out the shape, kind of get that little dome shape, um, at least this area right around here. I'll probably like, you know, sand down this, sand down around there, kind of take in a little bit there and just keep building it up here and there. So this is a good project for when I have extra A's and I don't want to waste anything. I could kind of put it on there and then I could go in a garage the next day and sand it down, buff it up and then keep going that way. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And once that's pretty much where I want it, we'll start working out the pegs underneath to get it under the shoulder. Alright, so I've been uh, shaping up this a little bit more. Uh, the other day I actually did go in the garage and I sanded down around here and I sanded around here. So I'm kind of shaped up the edge a little bit. Uh, so last night I had some extra aves so I kind of built up more. So it's got to still be sanded down. 
but I did realize in the back this comes back way too far so I got to kind of take it up around here so I got to kind of mark it a bit with my marker and just go around there so I think my plan is I'm going to keep it like this keep going and then when I'm ready to actually start to work out the pin I'm going to chisel out more underneath here because I got to have some kind of a, a gap under here for the cape. I don't mind this part touching this part, but back here I got to have some stuff underneath of it. So I don't know how I'm going to go about that yet. I got to kind of keep toying with it. But right now I'm just working out this part more and the whole shape around it. And then I'll worry about underneath of it. Okay, so we got a little bit further on it. So as you can kind of see what I'm doing right now is I got this there. And I got underneath a little bit so I can actually see all the way through if you could see some light probably not So this area is thick still and this area is thick because I still need to Kind of line it up. So right now. This is kind of where I'm lining it up I'm going to put a metal rod into this piece here Let this set then I'm going to drill a hole here and I'm going to line this up So this goes in and out with a magnet and everything that's good and then what I'll do is I'll kind of clean up a little bit on this side, but this side I can really clean up so this way the cape goes, goes underneath of this and I have room because right now if I try to put the cape there, it won't go. It'll kind of go like this. So I want to line this up correctly and I got to make sure I have all kind of cape space that goes underneath here and it could flow around. So I'm just going to drum on there to that hole. I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit more and kind of shorten it a little bit because it's a little too long. I don't want to go down too far because then I could probably snap it. I want to make sure that this is secured into this piece enough where it won't break off. So uh, I'm just going to get that. Alright so before I go any further I decided that I needed to get this hole set up so this way I can actually line this up correctly because if I just put this in and I put it at an angle by accident you know if it's going there and I try to put this in it's not going to work. So I need to have some kind of hole already so what I did was I marked out on here where I want to put it, but then I was like, all right, so if I put it in there, I might line that hole correctly. So what I did is I drilled the tiny little hole through here, and then I hit here, so I learned exactly where the center point was. So now I could put this piece in here and sort of line it up correctly and let it sit, and then I could work out my whole magnet with the brass rod next. But as you can kind of see, what I did was I notched out the tip of this, as you can see, so that's going to let the A's, well the magic soul I'm going to use grab better because if you just have it flat like that and you put it in, you, you're, you're, you're more at a risk of pulling it out or popping it. At least this is going to give it some grab. So that's why I kind of just notched it as I uh, sawed off this piece. So uh, we're going to get some magic sculpt mixed up and uh, get this piece attached on let it sit and then we can start working out the magnet part. Alright, so uh, I got the metal rod in there, I put a piece of scotch tape on it, I'm going to let that sit for the night, I want to make sure that that uh, piece in there cures and it goes straight, you know, straight down and flush, so then we'll come back and once that's all set up I'll do a little bit more sanding, uh, probably up top, but we're going to work out the brass rod with the magnets next, and once all that's set done and this goes into touches of the magnets, I can sand out the back of that and then we can work out the cape. And then uh, a few more things after that and I'm ready to start painting up. Alright, so the next day and as you can see this piece uh, cured in pretty well. Everything looks good. So what I did is I went into the garage and I cut a piece of hollow brass. Well, let's just try to get that in the... So as you can see what the hollow brass looks like. Now this is uh, in scale with this piece so as you can see it goes in really great. And I cut this piece just enough that works so what I do is once this piece is cut and everything works I take magnets and I put magnets on the piece of metal there and then I push this piece back up now what this does is this is going to create the mechanism in the shoulder so this piece will pop out of here and then it goes in perfectly flush and then it connects to the magnets so at this step what I like to do is take some magnet sculpt 
because uh, Magic Sculpt seems to work pretty well with the owners. You can use AAUs if you really want, but Ma Magic Sculpt seems to be uh, really stronger. Just can't really sculpt with it too well. So then what I do is I take some Magic Sculpt and I run it around. I make sure the brass is touching the magnets, as you can see there. And I run the Magic Sculpt around this. So a little bit more water. Take this piece like right here. All right. You want to make sure that that's up there and touching those magnets. And then you want to make sure you get the magnet sculpt around the magnet. So this magnet sculpt is going to bond to the magnets and that brass rod. So we what we do is kind of turn this around. Okay. So you let this sit for as many hours until it cures, right? And then what we do is go back up to the statue. So I have the hole, and I made sure that before I did this part, that this hole is actually drilled in far enough and that the magnets don't hit anything. So once this gets cured, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more magic sculpt in here. I push this in, make sure it's lined up correctly, and then this pops out, and then I have my perfect key that's not going to hit anything else with the brass rod. So it's a little bit of a mechanism it came up with and it works out really well. So when I put the cape on to the statue, it'll go through the metal rod, the little hole like in the Power Girl, but this brass and this piece is going to be embedded into the statue. So this way this is going to connect to the cape. I'll have the piece of rope that goes around here and it'll all work out pretty good. So we're going to keep going. We're going to let this cure up. Uh, I'll probably come back maybe later tonight if it's cured because it's really early in the morning now. Or maybe I'll come back tomorrow and get this into the shoulder. And then after that we can start cleaning this up, make this as perfect as possible. And then it's just a matter of painting her up and getting the cape on. Alright guys, we're in a good position now. So it's the next day and pulling this off so now we have our little key thing here so as you can see it's all a piece so when I put this on here it clicks in so it's magnetized so the next step is throw a bunch of A's in here and we push this into here like that and let that sit now there's two ways of doing it you can put A's in here you can let the item sit but as long as no A's is touching this top metal piece here or no A's gets pushed up here where this locks onto the whole shoulder. We just want to get it locked on there and then you can use filler. You could even do glue if you really want to, but I like to use A's or Magic Sculpt. I'll probably let it sit here overnight or, or for most of the day. And then uh, basically once it's pretty much cured, you pop this in and out. And then you have a nice locking key for the piece. And then after all that's set, I'll have to sand down this back part so the cape fits in. But this is pretty much where we're at. So I want to mix up some Magic Sculpt. And I'll show you how I pretty much uh, get that piece in there. If I have enough room and I didn't mix up too much, I'll probably be able to put a couple drops of glue. Set it so this way the piece is set. But we'll see how that works out. Okay, we got some Magic Sculpt in there. And it's pretty freshly made and soft. And that's the way I usually do this part. You don't want it to be super hard. Because if you try to push this in, you might snap that off. So we got enough Magic Sculpt in there where... This bottom piece is going to push up, but it's not going to come all the way pulling that all out. You don't want to fill it all the way up and then try to put in just enough at the bottom so we're going to grab it. So we want to make sure we're putting this in nice and slow. Make sure it goes over. We don't want to snap that piece. Make sure we're going down in the correct spot. Make sure everything's lined up. Got to look at it at the side. Looking pretty good. Now, at this point, if we're looking good and everything's lined up I should be able just to kinda pop this out if everything worked out good alright so we did so now you see we got a little extra mag sculpt over there and you can see the way it lined up that's why I made a bigger hole so what you want to do is grab a let's see hold on grab a paintbrush or some kind of tool and we want to push this over this way Okay. Now, if I didn't put as much Magic Sculpt in there and it was a little bit lower, at this point I could put a couple drops of glue, hit it with Intercept, and put this back on real quick and kind of line it up. But since this isn't coming up high enough where it's going to touch this, it's going to work out even better. So you might even want to grab another tool and kind of push some of this down. 
The goal is to make sure this gets locked into place. Now, I am moving it a little bit here and there, but that's okay. Not that big of a deal. If I really want to, what I could do is I could push this over a little bit. Grab a little bit more Magic Sculpt, just so I can get in between here. A little bit more. Well, you want to make sure you're getting it in the outside. You don't want to get any Magic Sculpt in the hollow piece. Because if you get any in the hollow piece, the piece isn't going to go in flush anymore. Okay. That should be good enough for that. Grab the, some water with the paintbrush again and just get around there now it doesn't doesn't matter that it's messy I'm going to fill this in once it gets cured up so let me uh I forgot the scotch tape so get this piece on here again line that up there make sure it's all nice and even and then Scotch tape. Everything's looking good. Just push down and just take that and look on the side, and we are looking pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much that key. So you let that sit up for a while, and then what I'll do is I'll come in and flush uh, in there maybe later tonight if I have any extra A's and stuff. And then we just got to finish sanding this down and, you know, fixing this up, adding the little piece for where I'm going to put the rope. And then we're good to go. So, uh, let this cure and we'll come back. Alright guys, so, uh, it's the next day. I sanded all this down. I carved it up a little bit more. I also went underneath this. Uh, just want to make sure I pull out correctly. I went under here. I sanded all this down. I smoothed it out. So there's a nice gap in the back here. So this is just a placement cloth just to give you an idea. So when I put the piece onto her, when I put the final cloth onto her, I will be able to do this. So that locks in there. And then you can see, let's get out a little bit. So you can see the cape is going to be underneath of it like this. So we got a nice gap here. The one with the wire and everything will be able to go. I could kind of probably bring it over a little bit more. And it uh, should work pretty good. So the next step is... Well, there's two, two more steps. I'm going to fill in this a little bit here so you can kind of see what the key looks like. So you can see that's kind of what the key is looking like in there. So that's just a little messy. i got to clean that up a little. Just when I have some extra A's, I'll fill in in a little bit. But I don't have to go too crazy. It doesn't really matter. Um, but now this goes locks in really well. So the next thing is you get yourself a pencil. And marking over here where I'm going to put the little slit for the rope. Now, the rope's going to go over that piece and in there. So then once I Dremel out that spot, like I said, this uh, works out pretty good. So we're going to have another slot underneath here. And then what I'm going to do is, since there's like a nice thickness here, as you can kind of see, I'm going to Dremel out a line here so when the rope goes through this piece, and then it goes in here. I can glue this in here, the rope. I can even kind of maybe bend the rope a little bit or something. So this way the rope comes in here and it bends in there. So this way this is going to be locked onto the cape with the string. So then I take this and I put this under here. I put the cape here and then boom, I lock it into place like that. So that is pretty much one of the last steps. I also have to prime this up and smooth it out, make sure everything is working good but this part I gotta focus on right here I don't think I'm gonna go too close to the edge I think I might bring it up a little bit more somewhere around there like that I know the power girl picture that I showed in the beginning it sorta comes out a little bit more like that uh, I don't think I'm gonna go that far I kinda like this uh, look better so just gotta get that piece I gotta go out and see if I have the right jump to I might have to pick up a new piece I think the one I used to use broke uh, but I'll have to see but uh, yeah, we're getting there pretty good. I like the way it's looking, and uh, we're just going to keep plugging away. Okay, guys, so what I did is I cut out a little tiny notch with the Dremel tool, and that's as far as I want to go. I don't want to do anything bigger. I like that notch. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And then what I did is, on the bottom, you can see I Dremeled out that little notch there. So once I measure everything out and it looks good, I can glue this piece into that little notch, 
and then I could cut this little excess that's popping out. So this way, you know, it, it the, this piece is nice and taut, stretchy uh, gold fabric you get off this on eBay, and it'll work out pretty good. So at this point, too, since she's really dusty, I'm not going to put the final keep on her. I'm just going to use this scrap, this just crappy scrap of red fabric, just to give me an idea what we're looking at, where we're at. I want to make sure I get this piece in here correctly. I'm not looking what I'm doing. There we go. So this is where the cape would kind of go around. This stretchy piece would go underneath the arm and it would be connected to here. So what I have to do is I have to get the cape and then I have to put on the stretchy uh, gold. As you can see, this is kind of loose. So what I have to do is I have to kind of pull that out, measure it, and then glue it in and everything. But the reason why I'm doing this now is just to make sure everything's looking good. This is kind of what I want everything to be. We're in a good position. So now the next step is I'm going to prime her all up and I'm going to smooth her all out. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Any other little excess A's or anything, get it all cleaned up. I'm going to get this primed up too, get this cleaned up. And then what I'll do is once it's all clean and it's dry and there's no more dust, then I'll go over to the final Power Girl cape and I'll put her on and I'll make sure that that's working out good. If that's working out good and I don't need to have the seamstress that I know make me another cape, then I'm ready to go. If I think that I may need a bigger cape or something wider to come over the shoulder, I will. But I don't think so. I think uh, you know we're looking pretty good right now. Um, but we're pretty much ready to start our paint work. So we'll do a whole uh, paint series on her too as well. And if things go well, I could get my other Power Girl uh, finish. I'm just doing a regular Power Girl too. I want to repaint her. I can repaint these at the same time. We'll focus on this one, but I'll paint the other one at the same time so this way I can get both done at the same time and it works out pretty good. But everything's looking good so far. I'm happy with it and uh, just going to start getting her ready for paint. So I'm not really going to focus on the whole video of me priming and painting and sanding because it's just tedious uh, you know, work just to make her smooth. But once we're ready to do some of our paint work, we'll come back and we'll start a whole paint uh, series. Alright guys, a uh, small little update. I lost footage, of course, uh, when I had to redo my computer. I, uh, I lost footage of how I did the boots, but basically what I did is I filled in the little notches underneath there, and then I just notched out where the boots kind of were. So this is kind of fits the whole uh, Power Girl Mandacon a little bit better, at least with the boots. And it's not much. It's just simple filling it in, taking a Dremel tool and notching it out. I just made sure all the notches were kind of even. And I did it for those boots as well. So, uh, like I said, I'm still preparing her up to get her ready for paint. But as a side thing, you can see I'm working on a classic version of Power Girl as well. So, you can see her gloves are different. The belt's a little bit higher. And then the boob window's open all the way to the neck. And I got to put two uh, notches on there. And I have to have this cape all set up from the seamstress. But... When I'm painting her up though, uh, I'll be painting up my other Power Girls at the same time, but they won't be shown on the video. We're going to be focusing on this one mainly, but when I'm all done, you'll be able to see all my versions of Power Girl that I got done so far. So I just want to kind of get them all prepped up together so I can paint them all at once so I don't have to do separate ones. I could kind of do all the skin tones in one day, I could do the outfits in another and just keep running with them. So uh, that's where I'm at and I'm going to get her all set up and we'll start the paint work.